Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube Station. And we're going to bring you some Out of the Park Baseball 18. And it's going to be Mark Fidrich and the Detroit Tigers of 1976 taking on, once again, Ron Guidry and the 1978 Yankees. Except we're using Out of the Park Baseball 18 and it's going to be a best of seven, folks. A best of seven. We're going to play these games one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row, if it goes to that. Yankees are heavy favorites, World Series champions of 1978, against basically a subpar 1976 Detroit Tiger team. But what they did have was the Bird. Mark the Bird Fidrich, Rookie of the Year. Game one here in the Bronx, Yankee Stadium. Let's give you the lineups. Leading off for the Tigers, Ron LaFleur playing center field. Batting second, the catcher, Bill Freehand. Batting third, the right fielder, Rusty Stab, La Grande a la Range. Batting fourth, the designated hitter, Willie Horton. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Ben Oglevy. Batting sixth, Playing third base, Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting seventh, Jason D. Thompson playing first base. Batting eighth, the shortstop, Tom Pariser. Batting ninth, playing second base, vote Pedro, Pedro Garcia. For the hometown, New York Yankees of 1978 world champions Mickey Rivers playing center field to lead it off batting second playing second base Willie Randolph batting third Mr. October Reginald Jackson batting fourth the designated hitter Sweet Lou Pinella batting fifth Greg Nettles playing third batting sixth the captain the catcher Thurman Munson batting seventh first baseman Chris Shambliss batting eighth the left fielder switch hitting Rory White. Batting ninth, Buppy, uh, Bucky Bleeping Dent. I can't even say his name as a Red Sox fan. I'm, I'm going through convulsions. Ugh. Alrighty, so here we go from the Bronx. I will be managing the Detroit Tigers and Mark Fidrich, the bird, who once appeared on Sesame Street. How cool is that? Alright, so Ron Guidry absolutely tremendous season in 1978 25 wins three losses uh, struck out 248 batters walked only 72 earned run average 1.74 just absolutely outstanding louisiana lightning was that year yeah yankees solid in the infield look at that all green nettles an eight dent a seven Randolph a 7, Chambliss an 8, behind the plate Thurman Munson an 8, in the outfield Roy White uh, 6 with a 4 arm, Mickey Rivers 7 with a 10 arm, Reggie Jackson 8 with a 10 arm. They are huge favorites against the 76 Tigers. Leading off, Ron LaFleur in 1976, he batted 316, 4 home runs, 39 runs batted in. A very, very dangerous base runner if he gets on. Lafleur nine out of ten for a bunt base hit. Didry's ready. He gets a sign for Munson. Lafleur's going to attempt the bunt base hit. Here's the pitch by Louisiana Lightning. As the computer does its thing. Lafleur puts a pretty good one down, and he's going to beat it out. Infield hit. What a bunt by Ron Lafleur. He is safe to lead off the ball game. Look at that. 10 out of 10 speed, 9 out of 10 stealing. You better be ready, Captain Thurman. So now up to bat the catcher, Bill Freehand. Freehand batted 270, 5 home runs, 27 runs driven in. Average contact, below average power and eye. Not much of a sacrifice bunter either. So we're going to attempt the steal with Lafleur. Shampless holding him on. Here's the pitch by Guidry. Lafleur 
called strike one. Oh, and one. He couldn't get the jump. So no balls, one strike. We're gonna try to steal again. And again, Lafleur can't get the jump. So Gidry and Chambliss do an excellent job holding him on. Wow. No balls, two strikes. Free hand to swing away. Gidry rocks and fires. Here's the pitch to freehand, and it's a dribbler to Gidry. He goes to second. And they only get Lafleur at second. Freehand beats it out. What a play by Ron Gidry. Louisiana Lightning showed his cat-like quickness, pounced on that ball, and threw to Willie Randolph, covering second, who then went to Shambles, but not in time. So one out, and Bill freehands at first. Now in La Grande, Alaran steps to the plate. Rusty stop, batted 299, 15 home runs, 96 runs, batted in. Excellent contact hitter with a very good eye, below average power. Lefty, lefty matchup here. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rusty Stop. One out, one on. And that ball is ripped to Shambliss, who goes with the dead back to Shambliss for the double play that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. No score and do up for the New York Yankees. Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph, and Reggie Jackson to face Mark the Bird Fidrich, who went 19 wins, 9 losses. 2.34 earned run average for the 76 Tigers, Massachusetts native, the Bird. The Bird had wonderful animation and antics while he would be pitching. He would pack Tiger Stadium when he pitched. The only time Tiger Stadium was packed in 76 was when the Bird was on the mound. Bill Freehand behind the plate, solid defensive catcher. Aurelio Rodriguez, excellent at third. Time rises at short, very good. Pedro Garcia, solid at second. Jason D. Thomas, very good at first. Outfield, Ben Ogilvy, 6 out of 10. Defensive uh, ability, 7 arm. Ron LeFleur, excellent in center. 7 out of 10 defensive ability, 10 out of 10 arm. And Rusty Staub, 7 out of 10 defensive ability, 10 out of 10 arm. So Mickey Rivers comes up to face the bird. Left-handed batter, very good speed. Fitrich gets the sign from free, and here's the pitch to Mick the Quick. That's a grounder. Thompson flips to Mark Fitrich covering the bag for out number one. Fitrich slaps his glove. Goes back up to the bird's nest, his mound. Toes the rubber, he's ready to work. He wants to work quickly. Here comes Willie Randolph. Randolph batted 279. Three home runs, 42 runs driven in in 1978. Excellent contact hitter, not much power with a very good eye. Right-handed pull hitter. Detroit will shift left in the infield. Outfield straight away in normal. Fidrich talking to the ball. Gets the sign from Friedman. Here's the pitch to Randolph. And that is past Thompson into right field. So Willie Randolph, one out single. He's definitely a threat to run. Thompson to hold him on. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October comes to the plate. That's enough said. You just be Mr. October. You know what Reggie Jackson is. Tremendous power. Tremendous contact. Can be fooled at times. Will chase out the zone. Right, uh, left-handed pull hitter. Detroit's infield will shift right. Outfield straight away in normal. Fitrich going to try to get Jackson to reach here. Toes the rubber. Looks over at Randolph at first. They're going to go pitch out. Randolph goes nowhere. So the count goes favorable to Reggie Jackson now. One ball, no strikes. Fridrich once again looks over at Thompson. Now in at free. And here's the pitch around to Jackson. Try to get him to reach. Beat the ball into the ground for a double play. But Jackson has none of it. He walks on the 3-1 pitch. 
So first and second one out, and here comes Sweet Lou Pinella. Pinella batted in 1978. 314, 6 home runs, 69 runs driven in. Spray hitting right hander. Fidrich is ready. Here's the pitch to Sweet Lou. And that ball's going to go into right field. They're sending Randolph. Here's the throw to the plate, and he is out. What a throw by Stop Kneeling Randolph for the second out of the inning. Keeps the game scoreless for now, so there's two outs, two on. Bottom of the first, the very dangerous Greg Nettles comes to the plate. Nettles batted 276 in 1978. 27 home runs, 93 runs driven in. The bird is ecstatic still with Staub throwing out Randolph at the plate. Steps back up on the mound, talking to himself, talking to the ball, looks in at Bill Freehand. Here's the pitch to Nettles. That's a grounder. And that's going to be an infield. Oh, an error. Bad throw by the shortstop Tom Verizer, who's usually a very solid fielder. He rushed that throw. He didn't have much time on the softly hit ground ball. Jackson did not go, though. He stayed at third. So bases loaded, two outs. And the captain, Thurman Munson, comes to plate for the Yankees. He batted 297, six home runs, 71 runs driven in. The bird has himself in a bit of a pickle here. No place to put Thurman. The bird would love to put him back on the bench. Looks in at Freehand. Nods his head. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to Thurman Munson. And that ball set out to center field. Ron LaFleur goes to his right. Makes the catch. Inning over. The bird pitches out of it. We go to the top of the second. No score. The Yankees strand the bases loaded. Due up for the 76 Detroit Tigers. Willie Horton, Ben Oglevy, and Aurelio. Rodriguez to face Ron Guidry. Horton batted 262, 14 home runs, 56 runs driven in. Above average contact, average power, and above average eye. The windup and the pitch by Louisiana Lightning. And he strikes Horton out looking on the 2-2 fastball. Yankees throw it around. One away. And here comes the left-handed batting left fielder Ben Ogilvy, former Red Sox and Brewers. Actually will become a Brewer, excuse me. He's not a Brewer yet. Very good contact hitter, above average power. Not much with the eye. He will uh, go fishing on occasions. Lefty-lefty matchup. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Oglevy. That's a grounder to Gidry, who goes to Shambliss for out number two. Fans in the Bronx love it. So two outs, no one on, and Aurelio Rodriguez steps to the plate. Rodriguez batted 248 home runs, 50 runs driven in in 1976 for the Tigers. He awaits. The offering by Louisiana Lightning. Gidry rocks and fires. Here's the pitch. Rodriguez swings. It's a number. Munson gets to it. He throws the first, but he throws wildly, and Rodriguez goes sliding into second. So an error on Munson, and the Tigers have a runner in scoring position. Aurelio Rodriguez with two outs, and Jason D. Thompson steps to the plate. Only batted 218 in 1976. Did have 17 home runs, though, with 54 runs driven in. Has above average power with a pretty good eye. Average contact. The Yankees infield, outfield, straightaway in normal. Thompson digs in. Gidry gets the sign. He's ready. Here's the pitch to Thompson. And he strikes him out. So Ron Gidry strikes. Strikes out Thompson. Detroit strands Rodriguez at second. We go to the bottom of the second. Still no score. Two up for the Yankees. Chris Shambliss, Roy White, and Bucky beat 
leaping dent. So Shambliss comes to the plate. Shambliss batted 274, 12 home runs, 90 runs driven in. Fidrich back out on the mound, his bird's nest. Toes the rubber, looks in at freehand. Here's the windup and the pitch to Shambliss. Oh, we get that shift right first. Detroit's infield shifts right. Now here's the pitch of Shambliss. And that ball's ripped to the right field corner, but they're making a running catch. La Grande a Rusty Staub. What a play. So he's thrown out Willie Randolph at the plate, and now just Rob Shambliss of extra bases. Nice catch. Right field corner. Here comes Roy White, switch hitting left fielder. Spray hitter. He's going to be batting lefty against the right-handed Fidrich. Very good contact. Average power. Mr. White batted 269. Eight home runs. 43 runs driven in. Fidrich rubs up the baseball. Steps up on the hill. Toes the rubber. Here's the pitch to White. One out. No one on. And White bloops one out to right field. Stop coming on. And Stop makes a sliding catch for out number two. La Grande, a la Ronge is all over the place in right field. So there's two away bases empty. And here comes Bucky bleeping Dent. Dent 243, five home runs, 40 runs driven in. Right handed normal hitter. Average contact, not much power. Fidrich walking around the mound, talking to the baseball. Big bird hair flopping around. Now he steps up, toes the rubber. Here's the pitch to Dent. Two outs, no one on. And that ball goes down to Rodriguez, who fires over to Thompson, inning over. Thanks to La Grande a la Range and Wright. What tremendous play Stab has made in these first two innings here. Two great catches and throwing a Yankee runner out at the plate in the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the third. No score. And let's go to the chat. We have a good friend of the channel, Max Cornelius. How you doing, my friend? Happy Tuesday. Due up for the 76 Tigers, Tom Verizer. Vote for Pedro Garcia. Then the top of the order, Ron Lefleur. Verizer, not much of a stick. He batted 234, one home run, 25 runs driven in in 1976. Louisiana Lightning's ready. Gets a sign for months, and here's the pitch by Guidry. And it's a pop-up. And calling for it is Nettles. He calls off Guidry. He makes the catch out number one. Max Cornelius says he's well. He asks how I am. I'm okay, too. Thank you very much, my friend. And here comes vote for Pedro Garcia. Batted below 200. He's in there for his defense. 198, three home runs, 20 runs driven in. Right-handed spray hitter. No one on, one out. Gidry works quickly. Here's the pitch to Garcia. Grounder to dead. He throws the shambles for out number two. The fans here at Yankee Stadium like what they see so far from the 78 Yankees and Ron Guidry, Louisiana Lightning. Top of the order, two outs, no one on, and here's Ron LaFleur. LaFleur had a bunt base hit his first time up, then was forced out at second on the fielder's choice. Gidry toes the rubber, looks in at Munson. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Ron LaFleur. And LaFleur rips that ball to second base. Randolph throws the Shambliss inning over. We go to the bottom of the third, still scoreless here in game one, best of seven. 1976 Detroit Tigers led by rookie of the year, Mark the Bird Fidrich, versus the world championship 1978 Yankees. The Tigers, huge underdogs in this series. Due up for the Yankees, top of the order, Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph, and Reggie Jackson. Rivers 0 for 1 today. 
Fidrich rocks and fires. Rivers grounds that ball up the middle. A diving stop by Verizer. It gets up and throws to Thompson for out number one. So he makes up for that error. What a play by Tom Verizer. Max Cornelius in the chat says, just played out of the park 18 last night. 1977 ACL, uh, ALCS replay. How'd it go? Give us some stuff. Tell us about it, Max Cornelius. That's what this channel's all about. We don't care how long it takes. We're going to enjoy ourselves. So Willie Randolph comes to plate. He's one for one. He singled off the bird. Let's see if the bird can exact his revenge on Mr. Randolph. Tigers shift left in the infield. Randolph, a right-handed pull hitter. Friedrich, he's ready. He nods his head. He rocks and fires. Here's the pitch. And he loses him on the 3-2 count. Breaking ball down and away. So a one-out walk and the very dangerous Mr. October. Reggie Jackson comes to the plate. He walked his first time up as they pitch very carefully to him. Try to get him to chase. On deck, Lou Pinella. Detroit will shift right in the uh, infield. Jackson, a power-hitting pull hitter. Left-handed batter. Randolph, definitely a threat to steal. Fidrich throws to first. Randolph gets back. Thompson holding Randolph on. Fidrich looks to first. Now in at Freeman. Here's the pitch to Jackson. There goes Randolph. The throw down by Freeman. Sails into center field. And Randolph continues on to third base. Oh, boy. So a throwing error by Bill Freeman. And Willie Randolph 90 feet away with one out to give the Yankees a lead here in the bottom of the third. Max Cornelius has posted in the chat. I'll be reading that in between innings. We're talking about his replay using out of the park baseball 18 1977 American League Championship Series. So no balls, one strike to Jackson. Fitrich gets the sign from Freehand. Here's the pitch to Reggie. And that ball is ripped to left center field. That's going to get down and go to the wall. And Jackson has himself a one-out RBI double. And the Yankees have himself a one-nothing lead as, as Oglevy throws the ball back in. So we'll quickly go to the chat right now. And... Max Cornelius said, played game one, 1977 American League Championship Series. Yankees won 7-1 to one over the Royals, I would assume, if you're doing the replay. Uh, Reggie Jackson hit a home run. And Reggie Jackson just doubled in this game. So it brings up Sweet Lou Pinella. He's one for one. Very dangerous hitter. Nine out of ten contact. Fidrich rubbing up that baseball, talking to it. Toes the rubber. Here's the pitch to Pinella. And that ball goes out to left center field. It's a shallow ball coming in on it is LaFleur. And he fires it back in towards the shortstop for Riser for out number two. LaFleur covers a lot of ground out in center. So two outs. Jackson at second. one nothing Yankees. And the dangerous Greg Nettles comes to the plate. Nettles 0 for 1. Freehand flashes the signs. The bird nods his head. Here's the pitch to Nettles. And that ball's ripped up the middle. Verizer dives, gets up, throws to Thompson. Inning over. Another fine play by Tom Verizer. At short, we go to the top of the fourth. one nothing Yankees. Thanks to the one-out double by Reggie Jackson. Due up for the 76 Tigers. Bill Freehand, Rusty Staub, La Grande a la Range. And Willie Horton to face Tom Gidry. Gidry's only given up one hit. That was that bunt single by Ron LaFleur. So freehands, throwing error did come into play, though. Randolph probably would have scored anyway because he had second base stolen. Advanced the third on the freehand error. 
See if Bill can make up for it now. Gidry rocks and fires. Here's the pitch to Freehand. And Freehand rips it down to Nettles, who fires the Shambliss. One away. The Bronx faithful feeling it today. Here comes Rusty Staub. He's 0 for 1. He has thrown out Willie Randolph at the plate and made two fantastic catches in right field. A lefty lefty matchup here for Gidry. Louisiana Lightning looks in at Munson. Nods his head. Here's the pitch to stop. Stop. Bloops one out to right field. Reggie Jackson coming in on it. Settles under it. And he makes the catch for out number two. So far, Gidry has been pretty dominating for the Yankees of 1978. So two outs, base is empty. Home run threat, Willie Horton comes to the plate. He had 14 round trippers in 76. He's 0 for 1 today. He's looking for a ball he can drive out of Yankee Stadium, the house that Ruth built. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Horton. Grounds it to Nettles, who backhands it and throws the Shambliss. One, two, three, go the Tigers. Inning over. Well, the top of the inning's over. We go to the bottom of the fourth. One, nothing, New York. Two up for the 78 Yankees. Thurman Munson, Chris Shambliss, and Roy White. Munson's 0 for 1. Right-handed spray hitter. Fridrich steps up. On the mound, toes the rubber. Freeman sets the target. Here's the pitch to the Yankee captain, Munson. And Munson walks on the 3-2 count. Fidrich came in with a fastball a little too far inside there, so a leadoff walk for Munson. He's not a threat to steal. He will go if he has the opportunity, though. And here comes Chris Shambliss. Left-handed pull hitter. Tigers will shift right in the infield. Looking at turn two. Shambliss 0 for 1. Fidrich will try to pitch around. Get Shambliss to reach and beat that ball into the dirt. And try to turn the pitcher's best friend the double play. The bird looks the first. Now in to freehand. Nods his head. Here's the pitch to Shambliss. And Shambliss does not chase on the 3-1 pitch. First and second, no outs. Roy White comes to the plate. Left, left fielder, switch hitter, batting left-handed. He's 0 for 1. The bird asks for a new baseball. He gets it. Rubs it up, walks around the mound. Takes his hat off his head, rubs his brow. Now he's ready. Back up on the hill. He toes the rubber. Freehand flashes the signs. Here's the pitch to Roy White. Two on, no outs. Detroit looking to turn two. That's a grounder. Verizer dives, but that ball's by him. The Fleur quickly to it. And Munson will not challenge the arm of Ron LeFleur. So base is loaded, no outs. And Bucky bleeping dent comes to the plate. And with Louisiana Lightning, uh, uh, Ron Guidry on the mound, Detroit will play their infield in. So Freehand goes out to have a quick word with Fidrich. Thompson meets him on the mound. Meeting adjourn. Fidrich takes a deep breath. Bends over. The windup and the pitch to Dent. Grounder to Verizon. He boots the ball and scoring from third base is Munson. Oh, they had him dead to rights. The riser wanted to throw the ball before he had it. That's his second error of the game. 2 nothing Yankees. Yankees on the verge of blowing this game wide open. 
Base is still loaded, no outs. Again, Detroit will play the infield in. The bird should have fared better on that one. Top of the order, Mickey Rivers comes to the plate. Fidrich needs a pop-up or a double play here. They have to keep this a two-run deficit. Here's the pitch to make the quick. The pop-up. Calling for it is Rodriguez from third. He makes the catch. So they got what they wanted. One out. Willie Randolph comes to the plate. No place to put Mr. Randolph. Bases loaded with the Yankees. Shambliss at third. White at second. Dent at first. Randolph, pretty speedy base runner. Again, I think we're going to play the infield in. I don't think we'll turn two on Willie Randolph. Infield in again with one out. Randolph one for one with a walk. Fidrich looks in, nods his head. Here's the pitch to Willie. It's a wild pitch, freehand grabs it, throws, but late to the plate and scoring the third run. Are the Yankees on the wild pitch? They now lead three to nothing. White's at third, Dent at second. Randolph steps back in the batter's box, two balls, two strikes. Infield still in. The bird needs a strikeout here. He sets and fires. Ground ball to Thompson. Looks the runner back and takes it to the bag himself. So two away. And the very dangerous Reggie Jackson comes to play with Lou Pinella on deck. Jackson one for one with a walk. He does have an RBI double. Comes back in the bottom of the third. Three nothing Yankees. Two outs. Runners at second and third. The bird looks in at Friedman. Here's the pitch to Jackson. And that ball's ripped deep to right. Stop goes back, but that ball is gone. A three-run blast by Mr. October. The Yankees now lead 6 to nothing. The bird has been grounded. Ouch. And I shall be back in a moment, folks. And we are back. All right. Six nothing Yankees. Two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Lou Pinella at the plate. Fidrich still on the mound getting battered. Let's see if he can get the third out here. Pinella one for two. Here's the pitch by Fidrich to Pinella. That ball goes out to right field. Stab moves over to his right a bit. Settles under it. Makes the catch, but... Yankees blow this game open with five runs in the bottom of the fourth. They lead 6-0 as we go to the top of the fifth. 
Louisiana Lightning, Ron Guidry is throwing a one-hitter. As ID Jester has joined us in the chat, he says, what's up, Al? Hope all is well with you, ID. He says, hello to Max. And he says, going, going, even farther back, it's gone. Great call by ID Jester in the chat. Remember to check out his channel. That's ID Gesture. Awesome channel. Love it. Lots of sports. A lot of strategy games. Uh, and some uh, action RPGs. Very fun channel. ID does a great job interacting with his subscribers. Not many channels ask your OBS has reconnected. Thank you, OBS, for ruining my stream. Awesome sauce. And hopefully you can still hear me. As we're back up. That was awesome. We had a technical difficulty. All right, back to the game. ID gestures posted. I will read that in a moment. Where was I? Ben Ogilvy at the plate. Ron Guidry on the mound, throwing a one-hitter so far through four. Top of the fifth, six-nothing Yankees. Louisiana Lightning gets a sign from the captain, Thurman Munson. Here's the pitch to Ogilvy. Ogilvy grounds it to Shambliss, who flips to Guidry, covering the bag. For out number one, and the Bronx love it. They love it here in New York. One away, and Aurelio Rodriguez steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Right-handed batter to face the left-handed throwing Ron Guidry, the Gator. Nods his head. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rodriguez. And that ball is ripped past the diver. Shambliss down the line. And that's hit number two. Jackson got to it quickly, holding Rodriguez to a single. He thought about turning two, uh, going for the second, excuse me, but with... Uh, down six, he made the better choice of staying at first. Here comes Jason Thompson. Does have some pop in his bat. Six out of ten. 17 home runs in 1976. 0 for 1 today. Lefty, lefty matchup. Gidry looks to Shambliss at first, holding Rodriguez on. He's not a threat to steal. Now he looks in at Munson. Here's the pitch to Thompson. And Thompson walks! Guidry showing an uncharacteristic lack of control there as he walked him on the 3-1 pitch. So, two on, one out, chance for Detroit to get back in this game. Tom Verizer, who has either been godlike or poop. Two great diving stops and two butchered balls. So he has two errors, two out of the three Detroit Tiger errors. The other one to Bill Freehand, the catcher. He comes to play, a chance to knock in the Tigers' first run. Aurelio Rodriguez at second. Thompson at first. One out. Verizer 0 for 1. The Gators ready. Gidry sets and fires. And another walk. Back-to-back -back walks by Ron Gidry. And lo and behold, the Tigers have bases loaded. But the very weak hitting vote for Pedro Garcia comes to the plate. Garcia only batted 198 in 1976. He's 0 for 1. And best out of 7. We might go pinch hitter here already. Let's see. Let's go to our substitution screen. I will not bring that screen up because God forbid OBS will shut me down once again. Uh, John Walkenfuss. I love that name. Walkenfuss. Uh, contact for power three, don't like it. Kim, contact for power two. Gary Sutherland, same thing. Chuck Scrivener. Scrivener, excuse me. Four and two. Oh, that's horrible. Mark Wagner, four and two. Alex Johnson, six. Alex Johnson, six, contact two power. Dan T. Meyer, 5 with 1. Mickey Stanley might be the guy to go with. Yeah, Mickey Stanley. All right, then we need a second baseman, who's probably going to be Chuck Scrivener. 
Let me see who can play second. Got to try to get back in this ball game. Game one, best out of seven. Six nothing Yankees. Sutherland. Well, we're gonna have to hit for Pedro, and it's gonna be Mickey Stanley. Except I didn't put him in the game, folks. How can you pinch hit if you don't put him in the game? And here comes Mickey Stanley to pinch hit with one out and bases loaded. Garcia out of the game. And let me go to the chat real quick with ID Chester. I forgot to read his post. Uh, ID Chester says, I, I will do showing how to build a new dungeon in Dragon's Campaign tonight live with Divinity Original Sin 2 on Steam now. You're back. Yeah, we went down for a little bit. Uh, do you, I like the 1 out of 10 rating better than the 20 out of 80. It's just my preference. Some people like the 20 out of 80. When I first started playing this game, I used that. Then I used the 1 to 100. I like the 1 to 10. But it's what your preference is. Uh, Max Cornelius, what kind of ratings do you like in the game? So. Mickey Stanley, bases loaded, 1 out, 6 nothing Yankees. Stanley. 1976 batted 257 with four home runs, 29 runs driven in, five out of ten contact, three out of ten power, four out of ten odd. Tigers desperately looking to get back in this ball game. Gidry's giving up a single and two walks after getting the first batter out. Munson goes out, has a quick word with Gidry. Now back behind the plate, he sets the target. Here's the pitch to Mickey Stanley. And Stanley rips that ball down to Nettles to Randolph to Shambliss. Double play, the pitcher's best friend, inning over to a huge cheer from the Bronx faithful. And now we have to bring a second baseman in. Listen to that crowd here at Yankee Stadium. Let's find a second baseman. Gary Sutherland. 5 out of 10 defensive, 6 out of 10 range, 5 out of 10 error. Uh, batted 205, ouch. Let's see who else. Uh, Chuck Scrivener, 6 out of 10 at second. So he's above average and very good at turning the double play. And he played in 80 games. He batted 221. You know what? We're going to go with uh, Scrivener. Scrivener will come in, play second base, and bat ninth. So Mickey Stanley, the pinch hitter, bangs into a double play. Let's get back to the broadcast. We have phone delay. Be back in a moment, folks. And we are back. Phone delay was a BS call that we got rid of real quick. All right, due up for the Yankees, who have a 6-0 lead going into the bottom of the fifth. Game one, best of seven against the 76 Tigers. Nettles, Munson, and Shambliss. Greg Nettles 0 for 2. The bird is still out on the mound, 83 pitches. Nettles digs in. Here's the pitch by Fidrich. And that ball is going, going, God! Another crush shot. Nettles homers off Fidrich. It's seven to nothing. Yankees walloping the Tigers here in Game One, best of seven. Boy, Massachusetts, Massachusetts native Mark the Bird Fidrich wishes he was back on Sesame Street. And we're gonna have to get someone up in the pen. Go to our bullpen here. And who is our long? 
Crawford. Forced him. Dave Lamancic gets up in the pen. He's a righty. And Jim Crawford, the lefty. So here comes the captain, Thurman Munson. 0 for 1. Fidrich uh, not talking too much of that baseball. And when he does, I don't think it's very kind words. Three hand sets the target for his counterpart, Thurman Munson. Here's the pitch by the bird. And he walks him. Oh my lord, that's Fidrich's fifth walk. It has not been a stellar outing here. And here comes Chris Shambliss, Yankee first baseman. He's 0 for 1. I believe he's walked a couple of times. Detroit will shift uh, left. I'm sorry, shift right. Shambliss a pull hitter. They want to turn two here. The bird rocks and fires. Here's the pitch to Shambliss. And that ball is deep to right. Stop going back, but it's going to hang up, and he makes the catch. Route number one, retreating back to first base, Thurman Munson. Take care, ID Jester. See you later. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. So Roy White comes to the plate. White's one for two. Switch hitter still batting righty. Tigers moving a double play depth. Verizer and Scrivener pinch the middle. Munson at first. Thompson playing behind him. Here's the pitch to White. And that's a blooper to left. That's going to drop in front of Ben Ogilvie. Runners at first and second. As Lemansic and Crawford still warming in the Detroit bullpen. Yankees lead 7-0 bottom of the fifth. One out, two on, and Bucky bleeping Dent comes in the plate. Dent 0 for 2. Again, Detroit's hoping for that double play. Here's the pitch to Bucky. That's Ripter Rodriguez over to second on to first double play inning over. So that went Rodriguez to scribe near to Thompson. Top of the six, seven nothing Yankees. Due up for Detroit. Top of the order. Lafleur, freehand and stop. The face Ron Guidry. Guidry so far in five innings. Two hits, two walks, two strikeouts, no runs. Ron LeFleur has a hit. It was a bump base hit back in the first. He's going to swing away here. The Gators ready. Here's the pitch to LeFleur. And he strikes out LeFleur. Swinging fastball. Great movement on that. Blew it right by him. The Yankees throw it around the infield. So one out, Bill Freehand comes to the plate. Tiger catcher, he's 0 for 2. Didry gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Freehand. Freehand punches that ball towards right field. Reggie Jackson coming on, and he makes the running catch in shallow right center. Two up, two down. And it's up to La Grande a la range. Rusty Staub. He's played stellar defense in right. Two outstanding catches, and a throw out at the plate of Willie Randolph in the first. He's 0 for 2, though. Lefty-lefty matchup. Louisiana Lightning rocks and fires to stop. Grounder to Randolph over to Shambas. 1, 2, 3, go the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the 6. 7, nothing. Yankees. Two up for the 1978 Yankees. Top of the order. Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph, and Reggie Jackson. So Rivers comes to plate. He's 0 for 3. Lots of speed there. The bird sits. We're going to sit Crawford down. And we're going to sit Lemansic down for now. See if the bird can get through another inning here. Fidrich is ready. Here's the pitch to make the quick. 
That ball's punched the other way, coming on his Ogilvy in left field, and he makes the catch in shallow left for out number one. Okay, the Birds finally have settled down after some really bad innings, especially the fourth where the Yankees scored five and broke this game wide open. Tigers trail by seven, one out, bottom of the sixth. Willie Randolph comes to plate. He's one for two. Right-handed pull hitter. Detroit's infield shifts left outfield straight away in normal. Fidrich trying to get in a rhythm, trying to work quickly. Here's the pitch to Willie Randolph. It's a pop-up. And freehand calls for it, but Rodriguez calls him off. The third baseman makes the catch. So two out, two down. And Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, comes to plate. He's two for two with a home run and four runs driven in. He looks like he'll be co-player of the game right now with the Gator, Ron Guidry. Fidrich is ready. Here's the pitcher, Reggie Jackson. Two outs, no one on. Jackson grounds that ball. A diving stop by Scribner, but he holds on to an infield hit for Jackson. He's now three for three. Here comes Sweet Lou Pinella. Fidrich now up to 108 pitches. Two outs. Thompson playing behind Jackson at first. Pinella one for three. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch to Sweet Lou. And that goes to Scribner, who throws to Thompson, inning over. We go to the top of the seventh, 7-0, seven, 1978 Yankees over the 1976 underdog Detroit Tigers. Two up for the Tigers, Willie Horton, Ben Ogilvy, and Aurelio Rodriguez. Tigers only have two hits. They need to expand on that to get back in this game. They need base runners. Louisiana Lightning, Ron Guidry's on that mound still, looks in at Munson, nods his head, here's the pitch to Willie Horton, and Horton strikes out, what a fastball there, and that's Guidry's fourth K, one away, Ben Ogilvy steps to the plate, Tigers left fielder, he's 0 for 2, lefty lefty matchup, Louisiana Lightning, kicks and fires, here's the pitch to Ogilvy, and he strikes out Ogilvy! Off-speed pitch fooled him badly. Yankees throw the ball around the infield. So two up, two down via the K. Gidry now has five strikeouts. And Aurelio Rodriguez steps to the plate looking to extend the top of the seven. Two outs, no one on. Rodriguez one for two. Looking for his second hit. He digs in. He's ready to grip and rip. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to Rodriguez. And it's a grounder backhanded by Randolph over to Chambliss. One, two, three, go the Tigers. Seventh inning stretch. They play take me out for the ball game here in the Bronx. A very jubilant crowd. They're up seven to nothing, the Yankees are. Game one, best of seven. They've handled Mark Fidrich quite easily. And do you know why? For it's one. Two, three, at the old ball game. So Fidrich up to 109 pitches, and he's going to go for it now. Nettles is up, one for three with a home run in an RBI. Here's the pitch by Fidrich. Nettles swings, and that's home run number two. Bye-bye, birdie, and it's eight to nothing. Good. God almighty, did he crush that pitch. And that's going to be it for Fidrich, who has just been tattooed from pillar to post. Lamancic will come in for the bird. Give you the final numbers on Fidrich. They were horrendous for the Massachusetts native. The bird did not fly today. Six innings, nine hits, eight runs. Only three of them earned, though. Five walks, no strikeouts, and he gave up three home runs. Two to Greg Nettles, one 
to Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. So far, Ron Guidry, seven innings of two-hit shutout ball, two walks, five strikeouts. So Lemansic's on the mound. In 20 games in 1976, four wins, six losses, 5.09 earned run average. Look at that. Save the Detroit Tiger bullpen is as this is game one, best of seven. And he'll face Thurman Munson, who's 0 for 1. Lamancic works quickly. Here's the pitch to the Yankee captain. And Munson grounds it to Rodriguez, who backhands it and throws to Thompson for the first out of the inning. Chris Shambliss comes to the plate. Shambliss is 0 for 2, the Yankee first baseman. Lamancic again wants to stay in a quick rhythm. Freehand sets the target. Here's the pitch. Chambliss swings and grounds that ball past the diver. Rodriguez into left field. That is the Yankees' 10th hit of the game. So Chambliss is on. Thompson playing behind him. Roy White comes to the plate. Switch hitter still batting left-handed due to the right-handed throwing Lemansic. He's two for three today. Tigers. Double play depth. Verizer and Scragner pinch the middle. Lemansic gets the sign for freehand. Here's the pitch to Roy White. It's a pop-up. Foul territory. Third base side. Rodriguez makes the catch for two outs. Chambliss at first. And Bucky bleeping Dent comes to the plate. Dent 0 for 3 with an RBI. Lemansic rocks and fires to Dent. Hard hit ball. And that's a line out to short. Verizer makes the catch. Inning over. But the Yankees score one on Greg Nettle's second home run of the ball game. We go to the top of the eighth, and they're whitewashing the Tigers eight to nothing. Two up for the 1976 Tigers. Thompson, Verizer, and Scrivener. Gidry back out on the mound for the top of the eighth. He's only thrown 88 pitches. His stamina is 10 out of 10, so that's about 125, 130 pitches. 1978 standards. Here's the pitch to Thompson. Thompson, slow ground ball to Randolph over to Chambliss. One away. Verizer comes to the plate. And we're going to try to sneak a bunt hit in. A bunt hit in here. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch by Louisiana Lightning. Verizer squares the bunt. And he misses it. So no balls, one strike. Third base, Nettles has come in now. Let's see if we can slap the ball by him. Gidry toes the rubber, nods his head. Here's the pitch of Verizer. That ball is blooped to right center field and on the run, making a diving catch. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, flashing a leather. Two away. As Max Cornelius in the chat says, Vidrich throwing beach balls to the Yankee batters. Yes, he is. A little disappointed with the effort by Mark the Bird, one of my all-time favorite players as a kid, even till now. Very, very sad his career with the injuries and then his untimely death in his retirement on his farm when he was working on his truck. So two outs, no one on, and Chuck Scrivener comes to the plate, batted 221 in 1976. Two homers, 16 runs driven in. Gidry rubs up the baseball, steps back up on the mound, toes the rubber. Here's the pitch to Scribner. That ball is ripped into left field in between Dent and Nettles. That's only the Tigers' third hit of the ball game. Shambliss will play behind Scribner. And here comes Ron LaFleur. LaFleur has one of the three hits, a bunt single back in the first. He's one for three. Gidry looks in at Munson. Munson sets the target. Here's the pitch to LaFleur. Two outs, one on, and he strikes LaFleur out swinging. Good movement on that sinking fastball. We go. To the bottom of the eighth. Eight nothing Yankees. Due up the top of the order for the 1978 Yankees. Mickey Rivers, Willie Randolph, and Reggie Jackson. Rivers, 0 for 4. He will he would love to get off the Schneid. 
Dave Lemancic still back out on the mound. Pitched, uh, pitched a scoreless bottom of the seventh after Fidrich gave up the homer to Nettles, his second to Greg Nettles, third of the game for Fidrich. Rivers digs in. Here's the pitch to Mick the Quick. And that is a line out to Lemancic. Great quickness shown by Dave Lemancic. Cat like quickness to catch that ball that was going to left center for a hit. So one away, Willie Randolph comes to the plate. Detroit infield will shift left. Randolph, a right handed pull hitter. He is one for three. Lemancic wants to work quickly. Here's the pitch. Randolph swings and he beats the shift. That's a single to left center. He's now two for four. He's a base stealing threat. Thompson's not holding him on though. He's playing behind him. Reggie Jackson comes to the plate. Detroit will shift right. Left handed pull hitter, Mr. October. Looking to turn two and get out of the inning. Lamancic looks in at freehand. The windup and the pitch to Jackson. Jackson sends that ball to shallow center, and that's going to drop in. Lafleur couldn't get to it. Advancing to second is Willie Randolph. So first and second, one out, and Sweet Boo Pinella, the designated hitter, comes to the plate. Sweet Boo, one for four. Double play depth for the Tigers in the infield. Outfield straight away and normal. Lemancic looks in. Gets a sign from free. And here's the pitch to Pinella. And that ball goes to Verizer. It's a line out. And quickly getting back to second base is Willie Randolph. So two outs, two on. And Greg Nettles, who's having what you would say quite a game. Two for four, two home runs, and two RBIs. Right now, it looks like he'll be co-player of the game with Ron Guidry. Honorable mention going to Reggie Jackson. Actually, Jackson could be... There could be three players of the game, to be honest with you. Righty-lefty matchup here for Dave Lemansing. Freehand flash to the sign. Here's the pitch to Nettles. Slow grounder. Thompson dives and flips to the covering Lemansic at first inning over we go to the top of the ninth Ron Guidry looking for a complete game shutout the Yankees of 1978 lead the 1976 Detroit Tigers 8 to nothing a do up for the Yankees for the Tigers Bill Freehand Rusty Staub and Willie Horton Guidry has thrown 103 pitches in 8 innings only given up 3 hits walked 2 struck out 6 Freehand awaits the delivery by Louisiana Lightning, and here it is. Freehand pops it up, calling for it is Bucky Dent, and he makes the catch just behind the pitcher's mound. For first out here in the top of the ninth. The Yankees of 1978, two outs away from taking game one of this best of seven. Detroit Tigers of 1976, huge underdogs in this series, and now that their best pitcher has been thrashed here in Game 1, it will only get worse, most likely. Rusty Staub comes to the plate, La Grande Alarange, stellar defense in right, but is 0 for 3 off the Gator. Lefty-lefty matchup. Gidry rocks and fires, here's the pitch to Staub. And Staub sends a line drive out to right, and that's going to drop in front of Reggie Jackson. Hit number four for Detroit. Hit number one for Lagrand Alarange. He's one for four. One out, one on. Willie Horton comes to the plate. Horton 0 for three. Horton would love to make these Yankee fans hear a who. Gidry looks in at Munson. Here's the pitch to Horton. And that's a grounder to Randolph. He flipped the dent back to Thompson. Double play to end the game in style. The Yankees take game one as they crush the 1976 Tigers. Eight to nothing. Wow. Let's go to the box score here. Here's the box score. Let me say thank you to Max Cornelius. And ID Gesture joined me in the chat. Remember, check out ID Gesture's channel. He's going to be streaming tonight, showing you how to make a new dungeon in 
Let me get that game name. It's up a little bit. Or it's down a little bit. Where is that? Original Sin 2. So join ID Gesture tonight on his channel. Very fun channel. All right, on to this. If you're a Yankee fan, wonderful box score. If you're a Mark Fidrich fan like I am, not so good. So, let's see who the player of the game was. Player of the game, Reggie Jackson. I'm going to give co-players of the game then. Ron Guidry and Reggie Jackson. Honorable mention to Greg Nettles. Let's first go to the co-MVP of the game, Ron Guidry. Nine complete innings. He threw a four-hit shutout, walked two, struck out six, threw 113 pitches. He gets the winning game one. For Detroit, Mark Fidrich, their ace, just couldn't match up, though he wasn't helped by the Tiger defense. He went six innings, six, uh, nine hits, eight runs, only three were earned, walked five, struck out none. He gave up three round trippers, two to Nettles, one to Reggie Jackson, Mr. October, and he threw 114 pitches. Dave Lemancic came in and pitched the final two innings, scoreless. He gave up three hits and no walks, no strikeouts, 23 pitches thrown. So he saved the Tiger bullpen. Player of the game, co-player of the game, Reggie Jackson, went four for four. One run scored in four RBIs, and he walked once. For the rest of the Yankees, Mickey Rivers, the leadoff batter, 0 for 5. He struggled, to say the least. Randolph, 2 for 4 with a run score and a walk. We already gave you Jackson. Sweet Lou Pinella, 1 for 5. Greg Nettles, 2 for 5. Two runs scored, two RBIs, and two home runs. Munson, the catcher, 0 for 2 with two walks and a run scored. Shambliss, 1 for 3 with a run scored and a walk. Roy White, 2 for 4 with a run scored. And Bucky Bleeping Dent, a run scored, 0 for 4. And he had an RBI also. In total, the victorious 1978 Yankees here in Game 1, best of 7 against the 76 Tigers. 36 at bat, 8 runs, 12 hits, 7 RBIs, 5 walks, no strikeouts, 24 runners left on base. For the very disappointed Detroit Tigers, Ron LaFleur was 1 for 4. Uh, he had a bunt base hit. Freehand, 0 for 4. Staub, 1 for 4. Horton, 0 for 4 with 2 Ks. LaFleur also had 2 Ks. Oglevy, 0 for 3 with a K. Rodriguez, 1 for 3. Thompson, 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. Verizer, 0 for 2 with a walk. Vote for Pedro, 0 for 1. Uh, Mickey Stanley, the pinch hitter, when the Tigers had a chance to get back in the ball game, two outs, I mean one out bases loaded, Stanley banged into a double play to end that inning, and Scrivener was one for one, he came in for defensive purposes after Stanley hit to play second, and he was one for one, in total 29 at bats, so Gidry only faced two over the, over the, uh, um, two over the minimum, because 27 would be the minimum. He faced 29. Excellent outing by Gidry. No runs, four hits, no RBIs, obviously. Two walks, six strikeouts, and Detroit left eight runners on base. Jackson and New York start off the series strong with a huge win at home. When the games really matter, the New York Yankees put on their best show, beating the Tigers by a final of 8 to nothing today. Reggie Jackson... And Ron Guidry earned player of the game honors. They were co-players of the game. Jackson went four for four with a home run, a double, two singles, a walk, and he drove in four runs and scored once. New York leads the best of seven over the 76 Tigers, one to nothing in games. Jackson had a big at-bat with runners on second and third in the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, when he hit a three-run home run, the Yankees went on to win. I'm proud of our boys for pulling through, said Yankee manager uh, Bob Lemon. The wins don't come easy for this team, but everyone's got an extra jump in their step after a game like this. A lot of managers say this in this recap. <laughs> game 2 is set to be played tomorrow at Yankee Stadium. The scheduled starters for the game, Dave Roberts for the Detroit Tigers and Ed Figueroa, 20-game winner in 1978. 
uh, for the Yankees. Roberts, if you're wondering, in 1976 for the Tigers had a losing record. Uh, though he did have 16 wins in 36 starts. So he was 16 wins, 17 losses, earned run average of a four. He's got to come up huge, the lefty. And that's it from the Bronx. The 1978 Yankees take game one over the 1976 Detroit Tigers, eight to nothing. Once again, thank you to Max Cornelius and ID Jester who joined me in the chat. I'll be back for game two a little later. Take care, health and happiness, bye-bye, and God bless.